What a game. What a game. Overweight 2 is all about testing your patience, making you sweat. It's a staring contest between man and the 30,000 Bulgarian bots being sent at Blizzard's servers right now. And as I sit here, I often wonder what's on the other end of that blinding white screen. I think that behind it is a piece of shit sequel. That's right, I said it and you heard it. And you can trust me over those other chumps because unlike those other reviews made by noobs that only have like 1,000 2,000, 2,000, 5,000 hours in Overwatch 1, I have 20, maybe 30 minutes. So know that this is coming from a superior seasoned veteran's unique perspective here, all right? Kicking it off, you only get eight new maps, but three of the old ones got removed, and only three of these are for the actual regular game mode. You only get three new heroes, but two of them are knockoffs, and one of them is locked behind $10 or 55 tiers, which is precisely in my in-depth calculations. A whole fuck ton of playtime. What is this, 2017 Battlefront 2? Is it gonna take a life sentence to unlock Darth Vader? Yes. Whoa, look at that, 30,000. We're moving the chains already. This isn't too bad. Never mind. Not to mention, that PvE mode, which was the whole reason why a sequel even started, is now nowhere to be seen on release. First, they divorced the launches between the two modes, then it was next year, and now the PvE mode is relegated to supervised visitation on weekends and holidays and Grandpa's house got fucking exploded by the bank to prevent any deserters from the new product. So hopefully you love the little that they've given you here. But hang on, hold that thought one second. <laughs> oh, nope, still 40k. <laughs> and speaking of deception, let's talk about loot boxes. You want to talk about loot boxes? I want to talk about loot boxes. Loot boxes are now gone. <laughs> Blizzard, you arbiter of morality, you. Come on, guys. Blizzard's the fourth new hero in Overwatch 2. Yeah! And that's an applause line, in case you didn't know. Ourselves. But in other news, battle passes, live shops, and new currencies are here. My brothers in Christ, the single largest change that was made in Overwatch 2 is the monetization structure. The second largest was adding a hat to Bastion, but we'll get there. Loot boxes were awful, predatory, but more than that, primitive. You see, loot boxes had a limit. A breaking point was built into every man. But now you can stalk the live shop, wait for your outfit to appear, and pounce on that shit like a hawk when it does. $20, $40, $60, buy every Widowmaker outfit. They even tripled or doubled the prices for true, endless value for every dumbass consumer. Uh, they mean every valued Overwatchian. And don't even get me started on the battle pass. Not only is this a trash version of a trash practice that is mostly filled with junk, but to get everything in it, you're looking at 60 to 100 hours of playing this game. Unless, of course, you're a whale with a fat wallet, because then you wouldn't even know what a video game is. You would be swimming. We have to be at 20k by now. I mean, it's been two hours. <laughs> nope. Connection error. <laughs> okay. All right. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm all right. And not to get political, but with the removal of regular level systems, badges, those post-game breakdowns, the on-fire thing, free loot boxes, and extremely low currency earning rates, it's almost like they want the only reward and progression system to be through the battle pass. You gotta trust me, man. All roads lead to the battle pass. Hero Battle pass. Progression. Battle pass. Guns. Battle pass. Walking. Battle pass. I'm standing right behind you. Battle pass. <laughs> the game broke. <laughs> Restarting. <laughs> this right here is cream shit chew and it's free to play i mean wow wow i mean I, I i mean wow they really do wow they really do care about the gamers and it totally isn't another shield as well as the early access shtick where they hide behind any excuse if it means they don't have to make a finished game but they will make a finished shop and if i see anyone defend the billion dollar company with oh it's early access or say what didn't get what you paid for ha 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 uh, I will go to your house. Oh, look, 8K. I would like to thank everyone that was on this journey with me, especially myself for enduring, being strong, being brave. And, and no, wait, and, no, 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 hang on, no, no, no. no, no. no. And why the fuck did you lock the hamster behind 150 matches? I like using the heroes that I had no clue how to use in Overwatch 1 because they were fun anyways. And getting called racial slurs that don't even apply to me by the raging dicks that took this game too seriously was like cheese and marinara in any Italian dish. It was perfect. Speaking of which, one second, hang on. Yeah, pepperoni. You guys have any tab? Why not? Wait, hang on. I'm gonna call you right back. Hang on, hang, hang on. Wait, hang on. I'll call you right back. 
The time is now, people. Nine hours. We've been here. I will be one of the select few that has graced his eyes on the actual gameplay of Overwatch 2. I'll be right back. All right, good people, gather round. After about 10 hours in queue and eight hours of playtime, I have realized I actually never really liked Overwatch. <laughs>